Hello everyone, happy Monday. Oh, did it, is it recording? Okay, sorry, anyway. What the fuck? Hello everyone, happy Monday. <laughs> it's a very Monday start to the video. Anyway, let's get right into it. Look what's going on today. Don't forget to subscribe. I post new videos every day. November love readings should be either up. They're up, they should be up. Are they up today? When do I have them scheduled? I don't even remember. Anyway. Okay, what's the vibe for today? What's the vibe for today? We're starting over some we're starting over new. We're we're starting over because whoever we were dealing with in the past, it doesn't have to be romantic. This could be a family situation. Whoever we were dealing with, it was it was a very one-sided situation with the six of pentacles reversed here in the fool. We're starting over. Like that. Love that. For the Seven of Cups, we have a lot of different options. We have a lot of different paths to take. Um, I would say, though, be a little bit careful. Try not to manipulate your way through, I want to say, manifestation. And I don't know why I want to say this. This is Gemini and Scorpio energy. Uh, we have the Magician Reverse, which can be manipulative, trying to kind of like take shortcuts almost when it's kind of unnecessary and then we have the tower so don't don't take shortcuts um move through the motions as they come take change as it comes don't try to resist change as well um if change presents itself to you there really is no way around it um and if you do try to find a way around it it's gonna bite you in the ass so let's not do that <laughs> I don't know who needs to hear that. Anyway, I'm so dead. Oh, okay. As I lose half the deck. Yeah, it's time to tune into that intuition, you guys. <clears throat> do, do, do. It's also time to fill up our own cups as well. We may be feeling a little bit depleted in the love department. Um, so it's time to focus on self-love and self-care with the Ace of Cups reversed and the Two of Swords. There was a really tough decision that you had to make. Um, it may have been walking away from somebody or something that was very toxic. Um, sorry, I just noticed a symbol on this girl's arm. See the triangles on her arm? It's the same symbol in this. I don't know if you guys have been watching the show 1899. It's the same symbol for like, okay, anyway, anyway, okay, that's odd. That may be a specific sign for some of you, if any of you have been watching that show. But anyway, um, that's very odd. That is very odd. What the fuck does that symbol mean? What the hell? Anyway, it's time to fill up our own cups here. We have the Queen of Cups. It's time to tune into our intuition. It's also time to get a little bit back into our spiritual practice. We have the Five of Pentacles reversed here. Um... This can be like coming out of the cold. Um, upright, Five of Pentacles is like abandonment. I feel like you may have felt isolated from someone or a group of people. And now you're kind of moving away from that situation that made you feel very isolated um, or abandoned. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles reversed. Th making this change is uprooting you a little bit. But it's making you feel very uncomfortable. But as long as you, like, tap into that spiritual practice, you're definitely going to be fine. Um, so definitely incorporate more meditation into your practice. If you pull tarot, you know, pull a spiritual message for yourself. Call on to your guides, angels, the universe, God, whoever you talk to. Just have more conversations with them. Anything else? Fourth cups reverse. Oh, look at that. You could be seeing 444 four, four a lot. We have the four of wands and the four of cups reverse. Um, you're, you're coming out of an energy of like bored and discontentment and you're moving into this energy of celebrations and relationships and 1111 card. Um, this is, <laughs> this is an 1111 card. Um, gemstone tarot describes this as a portal card as well. So please, please, please don't resist this change. Please do not resist this change that you're going through, manipulating your way and cutting corners around a difficult situation is not going to help. This is necessary change. That's just what I'm getting intuitively. It's all going to be okay in the end, okay? It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. What's the top of the deck? Six of Cups reversed. Yeah, there's definitely some sort of karmic lesson that you're trying to avoid. 
and just time to not avoid that, okay? Okay. I hope you guys had a great holiday, whatever you celebrated. Um, but I will see you all tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to check out your December love reading. Um, yeah, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.